people welcome to my youtube channel Elliot wave principal I'm your host Shaheen in front of here is uh, Tesla weekly chart and we have seen sharp dra drop down in the price of Tesla not only Tesla but also other electric vehicles uh, com stocks so the point is I want to we, we, we want to analyze the chart and we want to see where the price is heading next normally I analyze at gold and silver market and they are giving us a very different look than most people expect I was uh, speaking to one of the, the the viewer and I was suggesting that it looks like that gold and silver will crash in near time and in that time period most of the stocks will probably going through the distribution phase it means that I am probably thinking that the stock market especially the extended stocks like electric vehicle stocks have reached the top and they're gonna be in the bearish cycle for a good, good while so I have uh, labeled this diagram as wave as a five wave structure in front, in front of you wave one wave two wave three wave four uh, probably a triangle and wave five so whether this uh, labeling is right or wrong you can of course all of us can make uh, uh, points about that but the important point here uh, is at least we can agree with one point is that the degree of the wave that actually started from right over here all right or you can see that there is a separate shape of the separate swing of the price we can see that probably started from here is definitely over so we the reason I'm saying is definitely over is that we need to look at each individual phase of the market and we need to do some support analysis and see where the sport is heading so I'm going to do that before we actually I will actually say where the price is heading eventually but we want to do that by step-by-step -step analysis so first of all I'm considering this price movement and uh, we can see that the the support occurred around at 75 percent of the price uh, of the, the swing so this is 100 percent swing and then we can see the support is occurring at about 75 percent the next clear swing that we have seen in the price is that we can see that this is a clear swing of the price with this being top and this being bottom we can see that we saw support occurring somewhere around 37.5 or if you're using Fibonacci analysis you can say 38.2 percent and then we have the third largest uh, if, we, if we look at the size of the swing is probably about the same size as the middle one but if you look at it it's just a bit larger all right so this swing is the last swing is just seems a little larger as compared to the previous price swing the bullish swing let's see the total of it and we already can see that the price has dropped more than the previous level so in our previous level we can see that the previous the price dropped to 37.5 and then we saw the rebound but we have not seen that rebound so far in the gold in the tesla's market so this is giving us an indication that whatever the trend that actually started from this bottom right over here at least I'm thinking that it uh, we can start right from here and that's why I consider this whole as wave one but if you're considering let's say if you're considering that actually swing started right from over here we can still agree to one that one point and that is the correction has a happening the only point is the uh, the uh, the degree of the correction if you think that this is the bottom and then the degree of the correction would be shorter in your point of view and then soon it will find support and then it will head upward but if you think that they actually start the price started from over here then we have to agree that the uh, degree of uh, correction is much different than we are looking for a deeper correction price probably in in uh, Tesla so I'm of the point of view right now that we have uh, seen wave 1 which actually started right from over here wave 1 wave 2 wave 3 wave 4 and wave 5 so wave 1 definitely took a lot of time period as compared to other waves so let's see what's happening right now on a daily chart so I'm, I'm from from now on I'm assuming that we have actually completed the larger bullish cycle uh, wave in uh, in Tesla and right now we are in the early stages of the bearish market in Tesla that's the point I'm taking on so if you look at towards left the immediate support that we have in the on the left side is that this support right over here in the previous trend and this support is very important 
Uh, this is a very small degree support if you are seeing the last one, but if you consider the whole trend as a whole, then this is a major support all right over here. We also need to pay attention uh, to this trend now. What's happening? Let's see, let's see what's happening. We have seen a deeper correction of price right over here. Prices fell back to again. We have not seen such deeper price correction, but we have seen quite a bit of deeper correction right over here. So we need to pay attention. Uh, does that mean that the start, the price push that actually started right from the top is complete right over here? I believe that is yet not the case because the reason I'm saying is because we are far away from this this uh, uh, previous support uh, and I use support and resistance in a in a much extended way in my own analysis. We have seen kind of support bouncing off this one, but then we are seeing an interesting uh, interesting price behavior. So let's say that this is the support and and this is the zone that we are. So right now prices are right at the upper end of this zone. I'm expecting that we will see more price movement downward. And let me give you the labeling why I'm thinking so. I'm whole, I'm considering this whole price movement as a 5F structure. So this is a clear 5F structure on a smaller de degree. Let's see if on a 15 minute chart. So this is a clear 5F structure starting from this top. We have wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5. You can consider it as a leading diagonal. And then we have seen a correction right over here and then we have again a 5 wave structure sub wave 1, sub wave 2, sub wave 3 and sub wave or you can consider sub wave 3 ending right over here and sub wave 4 right over here. Or you can consider sub wave 3 ending right over here and sub wave 4 right ending right over here. And then we have seen a larger price movement downward. So I'm considering this as wave 1 of a higher degree, wave 2 of a higher degree, wave 3 of a higher degree and wave 4 of a higher degree. So if you look at this price analysis, this is not a clear 5 wave structure. It means it's is either the correction is complete right over here or it's just the part of the uh, another smaller degree pattern and I'm expecting that to happen. So uh, just give me a moment while I draw the labels quickly so we can actually focus on uh, the analysis itself. So this is going to be wave 1. We can uh, use any color. I'm pretty caref careless as for uh, the coloring of the concerned. So this is 1 and this is 2. And then again, we'll consider this as wave 3 right over here. And we'll consider this as wave 4. So that means I'm considering this as part of the ending diagonal. We probably have completed wave 1 of the ending diagonal and right now we are going through wave 2 of the ending diagonal. And I'm expecting that we are in a in probably a couple of days or a day or two you'll start seeing reversal happening on the on Tesla's uh, price movement. So then I will see price I'm expecting prices to go just give me a moment. Then I'm expecting the prices to go down right over here, make another jump and then make another down right over here. And and that I'm expecting that will probably end up happening in wave 4 of previous impulse movement. So and I'm considering this to be right over here. And once that has happened, we probably will see some nice jump uh, for for Tesla. This is the initial price movement, and after that, we'll probably see the price is going through the uh, distribution phase, which might take the correction uh, quite up. But that's too early to say. Right now, we'll focus on the uh, drop of the price, and I'm expecting that I'm going to be. Uh, I'm expecting the prices will fall. That means I'm bearish on the price of Tesla and other electric vehicle, uh, uh, electric vehicle uh, stocks as well. Thank you so much for paying attention. Have a good one and bye bye.